This year, we begin at the end. The end of the season. The edge of North America. The apex of every skier and snowboarder's dreams. The Chugach Mountains. So we've just had some amazing snow up here this season. Look at it right now. It's nice, light, and fluffy. It's just been classic maritime AK powder. Jessica Quinn is among the most accomplished female skiers in these mountains and the unsung hero of Points North Heli Adventures. We happened up to this old, uh, I don't know, tank to hold oil. And uh, the audio stuff in here is pretty crazy. Clapping is pretty awesome. <laughs> It's early April, and from the time I first get on snow in South America every year, down in Chile or Argentina, in August or September, till now, this is the highlight of my season. I just can't wait to get out in the zone. Seth Westcott made a name for himself, winning gold in spectacular fashion at the 2006 Winter Olympic Border Cross. But at points north, he's just that guy in the lumberjack pants who rides faster than an avalanche. Coming back up here every year, it's, it really becomes more and more like a family for me. And what Quinter and Jess have going here is just unbelievable. I love the time of the year that I get to spend with them. April dumps like this one aren't unheard of in the Chugach, but to hear about them, you'll have to ask a guy like Buddy Love, known unofficially as the mayor of Cordova, Alaska. <laughs> we haven't had uh, a snow dump like that this time of year since probably the early 70s. Probably be eyebrow deep in powder. Marco Sullivan is the top-ranked downhill racer in the U.S. And he's come to Alaska to prove that if you can handle glare ice at 70 miles per hour, you can handle sheer walls of powder at 50 plus degrees. I won my first World Cup race this year, so it's been like a great year. And when I heard I was going to get the opportunity to come to Alaska, it kind of distracted me a little bit from my last races of the year because I was so excited. We were boats against the wall, staring down an empty hall. So we have a pretty special treat this year up in Alaska, Maritime Made. It's just this 98-foot awesome boat with a perfect helipad for an A-star. We're going to go explore some new terrain that's never been explored before with just the boat and heli, and we're pretty excited for everyone to experience that. Keeping track of your daily vertical at points north is easy because every day begins at sea level. It can take a lifetime for the average rider to get prepared for this kind of terrain. For Olympians like Seth and Marco, it takes one long plane flight when their coaches aren't looking. get up here and get back out to the Chugach and not being in a ski area, just uh, getting out in the natural terrain with amazing conditions and uh, being able to go out there and just push your limits. This is, um, for me, this is just as good as it gets. Kevin Quinn is the owner of Points North, which means he's the only one in the heli whose heart isn't in his throat on landings like this one. up on top of these peaks and it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Everything in the valley looks so tiny and all the cliffs look way bigger <laughs> and I'm looking forward to just doing it, you know? <laughs> Seems like only yesterday Life belonged to run away Nothing hit
Seth learned a few seasons ago that some of the best runs in the world don't have podiums at the finish. like a beautiful day in Alaska with a boat with a helicopter on the back of it. Based at the entrance of the Orcas Inlet in Prince William Sound, Points North flies through a spectacular collision of ocean and earth. I have so much respect for Kevin. It's pretty cool to see him organizing out there. He's definitely a field boss. He's a leader. He's a liaison between the way he guides to the way he treats his guests to, to the way he runs everything about the business and it's definitely an honor to, to work side by side and the passion that we share for Alaska and for the Chugash is awesome to share such a common goal with someone that you love. the lower 48 and Alaska they just call home well, the magic thing that keeps bringing people back to points north every year is that they have the best run of their life like electricity and everybody just loves to come back and share experiences and meet new friends again <laughs> 